directly from 42nd Street in Midtown Manhattan, New York. I am your host Harbin and you are watching my channel YOLO, you only live once. Even though my philosophy is that you want to do everything in this life, I would like everyone to do it physically responsibly. If you plan, you can actually do the same things much better and at a much financially responsible way. Other than that, one thing is certain in your life is that one day you will retire and you will have a life after retirement. Whether you are already retired or planning to retire in 5, 10, 15, 20 years or you just started working, it's never too early to plan for retirement. The earlier you plan, the better your financial situation will be in retirement. So come on board. Let's do the journey together. Let's plan together for a very financially comfortable retirement life. And if you want to enjoy a good retirement life, please subscribe to my channel YOLO and like this video. Now let's talk about today's topic, uh, which is how I built a US dollar 1 million treasury ladder in my taxable account and how it is a good time for you to build treasury ladder in either your taxable or retirement account. As you have seen over the last uh, 11 years from 2010 to 2020, uh, the stock market steadily was rising. Since I was uh, fully invested or heavily invested in individual stocks in both my taxable as well as retirement account. Starting 2016, I started thinking uh, that it is good time to diversify. Uh, I started uh, uh, in my 30s to basically building my portfolios and now in 50s, I started thinking that it's good time to actually diversify uh, and have uh, rebalancing my portfolio with more fixed income assets than having heavily relying on the stock market or uh, high risk accounts. So I'm steadily moving uh, money into my uh, taxable account. Uh, since 2016 till 2020-21, the treasury rates were not very high. So I tried basically uh, investing in all sorts of uh, accounts. Uh, using high yield saving accounts, uh, treasury accounts, even though the rate, interest rate was uh, not great, they were still better than banks. Okay, so you, we have to basically take into account that treasury rates, comparing with bank CDs or uh, banks short term uh, checking saving accounts the interest rate come out to be much better because the interest rates are not taxed at the state or local level uh, from treasury uh, while bank CDs are taxed at all level and uh, as a regular income. The other thing is that uh, you can actually sell, buy and sell treasury as stocks in your brokerage account while you, uh, with uh, bank CDs you actually lose at least six months, sometimes nine months, 12 months of interest depending on the length of the CD if you have to actually uh, surrender the CD before maturity. So I started building uh, the treasury ladder in my uh, taxable account. The strategy I used is basically to keep one month to six month treasury ladder and then uh, have them reinvested after six months. With that strategy, I am pre presently not withdrawing my energy amount from my this uh, portfolio, but uh, I have the money available. The cash flow is there for me to basically take advantage of if I need the money. And you can actually build this portfolio in your uh, account from where basically you are withdrawing money if you are already retired or since it's a taxable account, 
uh, and you are actually anytime you want to use this money you can still build the same uh, treasury ladder and have the cash flow intact uh, for your emergencies or for your uh, uh, cash requirement on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you look at uh, uh, the portfolio presently I have, I have around million dollar in treasury uh, bonds uh, and notes and bills basically starting from one month to six months and then two year, four year, uh, five years, six and seven year uh, treasury notes. The purpose of that is that every month I have 25,000 maturing. I, if I need that, I actually move that to uh, my checking account. If I don't need that, I reinvest that for another six months. Uh, you look uh, closely, I have a big amount of maturity happening in March 2023 and that is my criteria uh, strategy to actually have uh, uh, a big amount maturing in March of uh, every year uh, so that I can pay taxes if anything is due in April uh, appropriately and reinvest whatever I'm actually not using. Depending on your need and your tax requirement, you can actually do the same thing. Uh, you can have a treasury maturing in March. Uh, to take care of all your uh, outstanding tax dues. The other thing I actually do is basically uh, have this amount which is for a one year period. If I don't use it, I don't need the one year uh, treasuries. If you are already exhausting, uh, you're withdrawing from this, so you have to have a one year treasury also. Uh, the way to ladder uh, appropriately in a taxable account is to use either bills, notes or bonds. Don't. Uh, there are many other types of securities available uh, from Treasury. There are strips and debts. Uh, we don't want to basically put uh, strips in our taxable account because the strips, the uh, advantage and disadvantage is that it's stripped of the coupon rate and it is the skeleton bond. So you don't get any interest on it, uh, but you get it on a deep discount. So the, the, the maturity, you get the everything as a capital gain. Uh, but what happened that uh, strict coupon rate is actually still considered as the interest uh, on a yearly basis and you are uh, you are owing taxes on that interest. So if you keep it in the taxable account, just in order to maintain that steps in your taxable account, you have to have money to pay taxes on it every year. So that's not a good idea. So in your taxable account, you always have coupon rate uh, notes or bonds or uh, so that you get the interest and then that interest is actually taxable so you can pay taxes from that interest. While it's a good uh, uh, instrument for holding in uh, your IRA account, so if you check my other video, uh, how I built a US dollar one million treasury ladder in my IRA account, uh, you will see that I have used strips in that and uh, for my long-term holding because uh, I get due discount on it and I can actually purchase more strips. Uh, with the money I have in hand. Uh, but coming to this uh, taxable account, uh, since the purpose of any taxable account uh, at this point and if you are actually using your retirement account for withdrawal or basically for funding your retirement, you should actually use the same strategy in your retirement account also. Uh, the emphasis here is that you want to get as much annual interest as you can. Since I'm currently uh, working and I have a high tax requirement to begin with, so I actually try to minimize my uh, annual uh, interest while I would like to actually get capital gains as much as possible. Uh, but if you are actually using the, the portfolio for your day-to-day 
uh, funding, then in that case you want to basically maximize the coupon rate. So if you look at the different type of uh, treasury instruments available to use, you have bills which are basically zero to one year without any coupon rate. Then you have notes which is one to uh, two to ten years, which basically you can get at coupon rates. Uh, and, uh, then you have bonds which are above 10 years, uh, which also have good coupon rate. Uh, you have tips which are inflation protected securities, and you have strips as we talked about before, where the coupon rate has been stripped, and you have the skeleton bond. And then you have I bond, which is again inflation protected, and the E bond, which is fixed income bond. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel and like the video and leave a comment if you want to basically understand more about uh, these different instruments provided by Treasury, I can then actually create a video explaining each one and uh, what are the advantage, how to buy it. If you want to actually know how to buy bonds and notes in the secondary market, then also leave a comment and then I can create a video out of it. Uh, if you want to basically understand and uh, any other type of strategy basically if you come across uh, and you would like me to basically address that i can do that too uh, but in the end uh, the u.s treasury are a very good way to create your fixed income portfolio uh, it's very liquid in the sense that you can trade it to the in the secondary market very easily and if you actually buy in a healthy interest rate environment like now today over the next one or two years the interest rate is supposed to be quite healthy if that is trying to control uh, inflation and it's increasing the uh, interest rate so in this environment uh, you would like to basically ladder it uh, in such a way uh, and the interest is already crossing four uh, percent and, and you should basically take advantage of it and uh, have a healthy portfolio created which can not only give you return because if you look at a million dollar portfolio with four percent interest can actually generate a forty thousand dollar annual income uh, which can be very healthy for uh, a person who is retiring and if you have a couple of uh, such a portfolio uh, you can actually have a very good uh, retirement without uh, touching your principal amount to begin with. So the need for goal is to maximize the interest uh, while withdrawing money. So that means you take the maximum interest and also take the principal when, when, when you need and reinvest the money which you are not utilizing for uh, the next rotation. So that's why having zero to six month uh, treasury and then having one to six or seven year treasury is the best way to create uh, any uh, lettering portfolio uh, with your taxable account where you are withdrawing that cash or in your retirement account if you are trying to withdraw cash from them. Uh, if you like this uh, video, please subscribe to the channel, leave comment so that I know what type of information you basically will be interested in and I can actually can create video for that. I have a very good uh, strategy for creating your end retirement goals with I bonds and E bonds. That might be actually a topic of another video, but if you will be interested in doing that, uh, you leave a comment.